All right, let's get to our Charlie Belcher right now, a true Adonis, a real statue of a man <laughs> himself. Laura, I am uh, quite often the least talented person in the room, but it has never been more true than at this very moment at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. As I look at these true artists around me, uh, this is some, I just wanted you to get a sense of what everybody is working on. As I'll make my way to the front of the class, but Jason, feel free to take your time uh, as you mosey on up here. Uh, we're going to talk to Lorraine and Candy. Lorraine, come on over here for a second and tell me about these particular students and what they're working on now. Sure. This class is called Brush Up, and uh, Candy and I co-teach it, and it's any 2D medium that anybody wants to brush up on. So if they work in oil, they can work in oil, pastel, acrylic. Sometimes they want to work in a different medium uh, one week and a different medium another week, and they're encouraged to do that. And how do the classes work? If I sign up for a painting class, do I need to expect uh, the next six to eight weeks or 12 weeks, or can I do it how does it work, scheduling work? There are six-week sessions. Okay. The minimum is four weeks that you can sign up for, but they usually are six-week sessions. And sometimes there is a one-day workshop, but this particular class is a six-week session. And I would have a feeling you find that you get somebody who tries it out, and then suddenly you see their face again and again and again. Once you get into it, absolutely. you get hooked. Yeah, absolutely. I, for people that have done art many years ago, and they're just getting back into it, you see the sparkle in their eye again. Some yeah. people are trying a new medium. And uh, people normally like the classes here at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center also because of the camaraderie. They form new friendships, they love seeing each other each mm. time, and it works out just wonderfully, and we enjoy it. Becomes a community. It does. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, Candy over here, as no, well, keep painting, because I, I notice you're painting with your left hand, but I have a feeling you are right-handed. I am right-handed. Well, now, I'm not that smart. She told me beforehand that you're, this is a technique called what, Candy? This is non-dominant hand painting, and we do uh, warm-up exercises and demos every time we teach a class. And one of the th times that we do this is when we're getting stuck or we feel like we've done the same thing over and over. We set up something like this, use our non-dominant hand, sometimes the opposite color. Today I'm using mostly local colors, but we paint with our non-dominant hand just to get the creativity going and to see something new come about. I've never heard of, of doing that technique, but I guess that would jog the brain a little bit, make you think Definitely. differently. You should sign up for our class. Friday mornings at 9 a.m. We do this every, every week. Oh, really? What time? Friday mornings at 9 a.m. is brush up right in this room at Dunedin Fine Arts Center, M1. Very nice. Thank you very much. So, well, you know, to spark my creativity then, I usually hold the microphone on my right hand. Let me, let me, no, now I'm going to hold it with my left hand. Oh, I feel, I feel so much more uh, empowering. Would you like to paint? Russell Rhodes, hmm. back to you. Then I'll paint. Okay. You, you see a difference? Yeah, you're going to have to paint something. You're going to have to paint something before this is over. I'm going to have to paint something. You're in it now. Thanks. Yeah. See you later.